Sir.
It's locked magically. in the light. Who? You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you, that's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? Observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. No. No need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm, collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. Oh, very well. To business. If you're not in a hurry,
Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head, well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't go across. She told you? Well, I could just feel what she was feeling, what she was afraid of. Hmm, it happens again. You tell me, understand? I promise. Have the light to Midgard. It's crazy to think that all the realms exist in the same space, one on top of the other. It's like this room lets us travel without moving. came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not in that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on her girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari, been working out in the Vellander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me, wears a fancy green ring. Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. What realm you gents shaking off? Let me guess. All fine? How'd you guess? I'd know that smell anywhere. Used to spend my fair share of time there, but, uh, I ain't allowed anymore on account of the, uh, incident. What happened? 
Well, ain't too sure your daddy's gonna like me talking about it on account of all the swearing and stealing and fucking involved. What? Don't judge me. You're the one came in all reeking of elf. Stirs up a man's memories. Go on now. I got things that ain't gonna hammer themselves. All right, what'd you break? What can I get you, you little fart? Best of luck with all the rampage. Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. The World Serpent's even over here. I told you he's big. Any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? Huh. There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Treasures from all different realms. Do you think that Fafnir went to Alfheim too? I do not know. Aren't you curious? He sounds interesting. We go to the storeroom to collect anything useful for our journey. Not to learn more about the dwarf.
Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. must have gotten here first. There's something up there.
It's some kind of drawing. Maybe a map? Oh! Maybe a treasure map! Looks like the Reavers made it inside. I hope they didn't take all the treasure. Stupid pots. He draw them. No magical treasure. And no what's Keep your expectations low, boy, and you will never be disappointed. you off guard. I wasn't expecting them. Exactly. Bird statue. And useful resources. The main reason we are here, boy. 
However, many of these chests have been emptied. Probably by the Reavers. I hope they didn't take some of these whetstone. I told you about expectations, boy. Keep them low. I remember. Still, good feeling. Good feeling. So I should keep my expectations low, but always expect an attack? It is a delicate balance. Expect the worst, assume nothing, and always anticipate an attack. Sure is a lot to remember. Whetstone. 
and only one room left. I know I shouldn't hope, but do you think we'll find it there? No. Back to piss on my corpse, you ungrateful little... Uh, who are you two? We're looking for a whetstone. Have you seen it? Aye, there was one in this room. My son sharpened his dagger on it, right before stabbing me in the back. What? Little bastard thought it was his turn to lead my crew. I was hard on him, sure. Hmm. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. I did the same thing to my dad when I was his age. He killed his own father? Where is he now? <laughs> he may be a bastard, but he's my bastard. You'll get no help from me, fool. Then his dagger will help. Hey! That's mine! Hey! Come, boy. We are leaving. Pair of pasty fifus, you sure can't fight. I'll give you that. betray him like that? Kill his own father? Over some treasure? It seems so greedy. Remember what I told you, boy. 
assume nothing. Well, sure. He didn't seem like a great father, but... You only know half the story. I guess. Enemies ahead! Well, what did you think of Fafnir's storeroom? We found no whetstone. This dagger belongs to the reaver who took it. They took most of the good stuff. Oh? Well, here, take this. In exchange for the dagger. The dagger you brought me is quite interesting. An artless design, but the construction is sound. Where in the temple did you find this? In a reaver's back. Oh. Oh. He mentioned he was part of a larger clan. Maybe they took the whetstone? Quite possibly. I know I've seen this design before.
Let's do it. You don't have to run off on my account. 